Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows 8 series on what's on my start screen. Now, the five applications that we have here for our Windows Store are IM Plus, the custom tiles maker, TeamViewer Remote, Jetpack Joyride, which is the Xbox Live game, and Windows Phone. Now, I picked all of these applications for this week because more or less they are productive and unique in their own way. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the IM Plus. Now, what IM Plus is, if you guys read down here, it allows you to go ahead and have all your social IMs all in one. It's kind of like uh, eBuddy or the other various programs that we're all used to. Or actually, it should be uh, IM Plus that's usually popular anyways. Now, I have connected with my account Facebook, Google, Skype, Yahoo, and Windows Live, or aka Outlook. Now, when you first get started, you'll be able to sign in. You'll go ahead and connect to each one. For instance, if I were to be on AOL, I would just log in and then I would save it and then my account would be added. If I come over here back to my account, you can see that these are all linked. And then here I can see my online contacts by customizing it. Then I can see my chats. So if I were to go over here, you can see our current chat right here. And then going further, if you wanted to add favorites, you can. And then you can see your active accounts that are open. I'm pretty sure I can add multiple Skype accounts Yahoo accounts and etc. If you were to right click, you can see the status. And also if you were to go to the charms bar area and go in into settings, you can see your contacts. You can either show them by groups or by name or new groups at all or by services and a bunch of other stuff. That program is pretty useful in its many ways. All right, so with the custom tiles maker on our next app, we have a thing that we like to do is customizing our start screen for most of us. If you were to see this right here, you're able to go ahead and create a picture full of start tiles, or you can go ahead and cycle through them or change them. Now, the thing is with this app, it is free. However, if you want to go ahead and use other uh, services, for instance, the uh, three rolls by three rows, you will have to pay them, which is pretty difficult if you don't have the money. If I were to open this, I would be told to buy out the all tiles pack. For example, I have a all tiles pack right here. And this right here is customized to look like the tiles, but it's all split up and with that particular wallpaper. Now, the only way I was able to get it to look like that is by putting other applications below it. If I were not to have these applications right here, this right here would be separated just with this particular gap right here as well. So that's pretty cool if you guys want to uh, customize it. You are also, from what I heard, you can create programs that match up to these particular tiles. So for instance, this could be Internet Explorer or this could be, you know, some so sort of news coverage app and etc. So that's that's pretty uh, cool and unique. So our next app is called TeamViewer. This is a remote desktop type program, and this is way better than the remote desktop program that we have in our Windows uh, store right here. What this allows us to do is we can connect to any computer network wise, remotely access their computer either in a presentation mode or a remote support type of way to where we have access and we can actually use the mouse and the keyboard and integrate inside their computer. I'm going to go ahead and show you an example. I have with my Surface, I'm going to go ahead and connect to this computer. Let's go ahead and go to the desktop just to show you an example. So I'm in the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and connect to the laptop I'm recording on right now. So that drop down and with my touchpad, I can actually connect. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and close that, you know, and move the whole mouse around and such. So if you wanted to, if you have the Windows RT, you can go ahead and use this to the best of your ability. So if you wanted to use the desktop applications or if you wanted to help someone, this would be good for the corporate world or the enterprise world. That's a good app. If you guys want that, just go ahead and download it. Okay, so our next application is called Jetpack Joyride. Now this application allows us to go ahead and collect coins and power up and level up on various items and gadgets and jetpacks and other uh, miscellaneous stuff. And if you were to go in here to the stash, you can go ahead and customize your clothing, your jetpacks, your vehicle upgrades, and your gadget. I'm going to go ahead and allow you guys to discover that yourself. But if you want to go ahead and get into the game even faster, it gives you the option to go ahead and get coins. This will actually cost you real money, which is $14 for the ultimate pack. 
or the counterfeit machine, which allows you to go ahead and collect coins and it's worth double the amount that you would get single-handedly. Now, just go ahead and give you a example of the gameplay. I'll go ahead and start. So, you don't necessarily start like this, but it's a cool thing that I did. Now, what that was, it was a special attack that I was able to get. I'm actually further ahead than most. And what happens is you hover around and you just go ahead and collect things and also tokens. And you just make your way as far as you can. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it and so I actually die, which I just did right now. Pretty cool. So yeah, so you just go around pressing coins and you just collect them as much as you can and just power up. And this right here, the big glass, it sends you more further. So I'll probably get up to 1500 or a thousand meters, which is pretty cool. And then I could go ahead and have a small blast, which is another lucky item that I just barely got me now. Yeah, so that's the Jetpack Joyride game. If you guys like it, go ahead and download it for free, but it will cost you if you want to go ahead and go further into advancing yourself quicker. So our next application is called the Windows Phone app. Now what this allows you to do, and I do want to stress that this is specifically for the Windows Phone 8 devices. This is not for any Windows 7. Now if you read the description right here, it allows you to go ahead and sync all your media and everything else with your Windows 8 application or operating system for that matter. Now it allows you to go ahead and browse for more apps and games as well as do more with Windows Phone. And it's just a little handy cloud device that allows you to just sync everything seamlessly. It says right here, your computer and your Windows Phone 8 work together seamlessly, like I had mentioned, with the Windows Phone app. So you can always have your photos, videos, and music, and more where you want them. Now, the couple things that I mentioned was that there is no Windows 7.x uh, support so far, and it could be a disappointment for some. It's also great for syncing your memory or media and your settings. So it's a good app if you guys do have a Windows Phone. Um, it doesn't work for Android and it does not work for iOS Apple devices either. Yeah, so that is the conclusion of our five apps right here. If you guys like any of them, whether it be social media, whether it be customizing your start screen, whether it be remote support, or whether it just be, you know, some great pastime games and, you know, something that you can use to stay connected with your devices in a close ecosystem. Yeah, so just go ahead and download them. They are on the Windows Store. And until next time, see you later, guys. Bye.